Hello guys, welcome back to the Tri-10 Podcast YouTube channel. I'm Callum and here's Lee Leopard's 2024 Super League season preview. But first, before we get into Lee, we just want to say this is the third one of these that we are doing now. So please check out the other ones. We're doing every single Super League team before the start of the season. So the ones that are already up, check them out. The other ones will be coming. I will leave a link to the YouTube playlist with all the videos in the description down below. And yeah, I think let's get into who they've lost. So, Lee have not lost many players, to be fair. So, they've lost Ben Reynolds to Fev, Joe Wardle to Oldham, Oliver Gildart to Hull KR, if you class that as a loss, Joe Mellor to Salford. I've just realised that sounds really bad on Oliver Gildart, but I do genuinely just mean because he was kind of like, didn't really play it for him last season. It were, it were kind of never necessarily a long-term signing. So, compared with some of these, you know, like Joe Mellor and Ben Reynolds have been there a while, and they've, they've helped them helped get them up so to lose them I think it's it's not the biggest losses in the world really I think it's just kind of the, a thing that happens and the need to, like I think Reynolds was always teetering on is he Super League quality is he not he's probably just a top championship player really so him going to Fev makes sense and probably isn't the biggest loss to Lee really you got Meller as well going to Salford I think a good move for Salford we'll obviously speak more about him going to Salford in the Salford preview but I'd, again I think maybe it was time for him to move on and for Lee to move on from him as well. Wardle's a big miss in the pack, going down to Oldham, who were just absolutely... They're signing everyone out there, really, down in League 1. I think they'll walk that league next year. And Wardle, again, I think he's a miss, but I think they've. it's not the end of the world for Lee. It's not going to like completely ruin him. And, and Gild out again, like I say, I don't think it's going to necessarily affect him. So they've got quite a few in, so let's go through them. So we've got Owen Trout, from Huddersfield, Dan Norman from Saints, Lewis Baxter from Saints, Lewis Brogan from Swinton, Ben McNamara from Hull FC, Jack Derbyshire from Wire, or Warrington, if you're not familiar with that, Kevin Rothwell from Wigan, and Matt Moylan, of course, the big one from Cronulla. So, first, we probably want to veto a few of these, like, you're looking at, like, your Lewis Baxter's, your Jack Derbyshire's, your Kevin Rothwell's, I think I'm more young players for the future potentially that they've taken off of them clubs just to fill out the squad but players that can be good in the, in the future which I think is a good thing that Lee need to do I think then you look at Owen Trout solid middle kind of I think can kick on as well he's still only young so he's going to kick on as well I don't mind that as a signing Dan Norman as well I've always liked him at Saints or when we've like when Bradford have come up against him in him in Championship down on Joel Reg or whatever, he always looks good. I think that's a really good sign if he can get game time. Lewis Brogan at Swinton, a very good Championship prop. I'm glad he's got his opportunity. Don't get me wrong, I don't think he'll play every week, but he will play a lot of rugby when given the chance as well. I think he will actually take his chance. And then you know, you know, these props can look at. I don't necessarily think he's going to be the next Alex Wormsley, but you never know. Ben McNamara, I think when he's played for Hull and been given a chance, he's looked really good. So I think that's a good, solid sort of half-back signing. Look, with an eye to the future as well. There's only really one signing here that isn't looking to the future, and I guess that is Matt Moylan. But if Matt Moylan comes and clicks, you're absolutely laughing. And I think if Matt Moylan can, can play well, we see all these Australians, they come over. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. If he's in that good category, I think Lee are, are laughing in terms of getting the playoffs again this season. But yeah, that's all the incoming, so let's go on to our actual conclusion. I think they've kept a lot of the core, you know, they've kept the sort of Yuri Papes, Yuri Moans, your Asiatas, your Lachlan Lambs, Hardacre, Charnley, Briscoe, that core, that when I think of Lee, they're the players that I think of, because they are what got them to where they were, were last season, really. But yeah, like, Edwin Papes is just an absolute cheat code of a hooker, to be fair, arguably the best hooker in competition, in my opinion. Just what a player. Like, like, they are good players, but it's, some of them, them players have dragged them through championship of some of them and got them up and then done what they did last season. So I think if they can keep up with that and don't regress, I think they're absolutely laughing. Again, I've mentioned about if Moylan hits ground running, they're absolutely, again, I think playoffs for him if Moylan can hit form. If not, then... You, ne you don't know really then are they just carrying an extra player in more than if he isn't if he isn't as good as the hope and they've also built out a good you know, they've got they've not got an academy league you've got to remember that so having buying some of these players who have not made it at other clubs is not a bad thing because it just fills out that squad if there's injuries you've got players there you're not having to like emergency loan players in and stuff like that you've got a squad there and and I think that's it's a good culture to build and when you've got like a reserves team being run and stuff like that 
they you do need them squad players. I think realistically, if you're a Lee fan, you're looking mid table this year. I think you'd be very happy with that. I don't think you'll be anywhere near in trouble down at bottom. But just mid-table, potentially push playoffs depending on how it goes. And obviously you'll hope for a cup run like last year. But I wouldn't necessarily um, expect that, to be fair. Because it, it was great what happened last year. But it just ain't going to happen every year, is it really? And yeah, I think, Lee, decent little bit of a... No, exci- not too exciting, you know. No, definitely not the best business um, in the league. But definitely not the worst either. So I think, yeah, good season ahead for Lee.